All right, y'all, appreciate everybody for tuning in. We got my homie Callie in the building. Red up in this thing. And Jewels herself coming all the way from Boston. Boston. And tonight's topic, we're going to talk about stress, anxiety, and depression within the LGBT, the black community. Just for anybody who, who just want to talk about it, you know, you're not alone. And tonight's show was sponsored by LaVon's Creation, spelled L-O-V-A-W-N-S, Creations. Check them out on IG. Get your candles. My house be smelling scrumptious. Did the yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, all right then, Kelly, uh, your lead. So, my topic, to, well, not my topic, uh, I do want to start off, uh, I guess I can start off with uh, depression, because we have two two topics, which can lead into a thousand more topics, but um, depression, um, and how real it is, and how it affects people's lives, and I mean that by people taking their lives, uh, and not understanding that there are people who are here that can't help you, there are people... Um, they have resources. It's, it's okay. Um, you're not any different from anybody else, and only the stronger will survive. And we are stronger than what we think that we are, because I suffer from depression. And I used to just think that I was just the weakest person in the world. But when I sit back and look at it, the things that I've been through, a lot of people wouldn't even be able to get as far as I got. So you always have to, you know, start somewhere and how to cope with depression. Um, and again, just seek help and see. And just knowing that you're not the, the only person that is going through it, it's okay to speak out and say, hey, this is what I'm dealing with. You know what I mean? Yeah, because I know a lot of people probably think that they're alone in this situation, but, um, you know, depression, stress, anxiety, all of that stuff stems for a lot of things. I really believe that majority of it started where we didn't have any type of therapy starting from slavery. Mm hmm separations of family we're so used to separation and especially that separation anxiety and different things of that nature so yeah. I, I get it i definitely get it oh yes oh yes and i i just gotta say that i just want people to understand like you know people are afraid to come out and you know say they have depression or they need help but we also you gotta reach out to your people sometimes you gotta reach out to them i'm okay people because most of the times that people that say I'm okay usually aren't okay. You know what I'm saying? And we got to reach out to the ones that we care about. You know what I'm saying? I, um, you know, I tend to not sometimes reach out as much. Because I don't know. It's just something I just, I don't know. For, for a long time, I just dealt with a lot of stuff myself. Whatever. Whether it was family, friends, my mother, my father, I never said nothing. You know what I'm saying? I never said anything at all. But... All of fair, all about fair, you know what I'm saying? That fair of like judgment because I'm gonna be 110% honest, our community is, we want all this equal shit, but we are the most, one of the most judgmental <laughs> communities I've <laughs> ever seen. I'm not, no lie, you know what I'm saying? It's everywhere, we're always trying to live by what, like there's a manual out there that you're supposed to go by. You can't act this way. You can't dress that way. You're not supposed to hang with this person. You can't, you know what I'm saying, X, Y, and Z. But you just got to be able to, you know, embrace that and, and, and allow yourself to be who you are. And understand that there are people out there that are going through some things. So you got to reach out to reach out to your family and your friends and just ask them, like, you good. Like, have a simple conversation because sometimes that that you good can turn into a whole conversation of them wanting to vent. True. That's true. the fact. You're right about that. And that's yep. the thing also, I 100% agree that people don't want to talk to others because they will be, they feel as though they will be judged, looked down as being weak or, you know what I'm saying, not as strong and things like that. And that's why I advise my sisters to get, you know, if you have to just go to a therapist or somebody who doesn't know you so you won't feel that judgment you know but it is best to release because the more it builds up that's when bad things start happening just start snapping on you know people who just smile at you because everything's eating you up in the inside but i agree with y'all y'all listen okay all right okay 
Yeah, you just, yeah, like I said, you just gotta reach out to your people and say you good. Like, like I said, that sometimes that that one line opens a whole can of a conversation where they just they just they were waiting for somebody to ask them that. You feel what I'm right. saying? So, right. you just got that verbiage right there. And, you know, it's good. It's healthy. You gotta stop being afraid to um talk about things and stuff like that. And I'm not gonna say that like you know, say I'm perfect, Patty, or anything like that because I'm not. Because at one point. I was that person, you know what I'm saying? I just stuck to myself. I didn't say too much. Whatever I dealt with, I just dealt with on myself. And that's that's with my whole entire life, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just... Yeah, I feel that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I have a whole bunch of siblings, you know what I'm saying? But not to say that they wouldn't be there for me, but I've always just felt... You got to understand, like, me, I'm the youngest one. And everybody else is, like, probably, like, a year or two apart. So it's all... they've They've been through everything together. So they're, you know... Right, right, right. Yeah, the support. Middle school, high school, all that stuff. So they do everything together. You know, it's just me because, you know, I have a little age difference. So I didn't really talk that much as far as that goes. But, you know, as I got older and a lot of a lot of that reality started to set in and it, I, I felt it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things were happening to me and I was like, yo, mm-hmm. I needed the help. Like, yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's a major difference between me and my siblings, and what they have experienced is totally different from what I experienced. Yes. But I also feel like I'm, I feel more of the older, older sibling as opposed to being the baby. Right. And the girl. You know, I'm more outspoken, and they more like, ah. they won't say nothing until you try to reel it out of them. You know what I'm saying? Reel it out of them. Yeah, it's a lot of yeah. You have a lot of well, you, especially Jules. You know, you know how it is. Especially, especially with me. You know, I try to be as honest with people as I can. Even with my situation, I had to go through it and speak about it in order to find ways to cope with it. And mine was to differentiate what was going on with me and my siblings. You know what I'm saying? Because I felt like one of my siblings, like, he really hated me. Like, hated, hated my guts. And he never been cool with, you know what I'm saying? So now with, now with something that we're working on, you know, but in a sense, he has bottled up uh, animosity, stress, and it's like dealing with a adult child. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh... I think that we all, you know, have some type of trauma. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, and like, sometimes we're all afraid to unpack that trauma. But I feel like if we don't unpack that trauma, it's just going to get worse. And it's just going to be a repeated cycle. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes we got to break that chain, break Mm -hmm. that cycle. Because if not, you can act like, you know, you're all good on the outside. But on the inside, that shit is eating you up. Yeah, I get it. I never get one time I was in a relationship. The girl said, well, you don't love me because you don't beat me. I'm like, what? Beat what? You want me to turn into dyke turn? No, I can't do that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. You would, listen. Not dyke turn. For real. I'm like, eat the cake, man. Eat the cake. <laughs> eat the cake. Go on here, Kelly. Uh-oh. You said eat the cake. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't say eat the cake. Man. I did, I man. No, I, 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 I white man tell you to sing a song. You sing what? <laughs> I did want to pick it back too off of what Jewel said though, and that goes back to and it's so oh. simple. Um, it's you have to bury that that inner child. Is is what I was gonna piggyback on what she was saying, and that's the truth. And that's <laughs> it's you know how they say you 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 could forgive, but you never forget. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that term. You know, I don't agree with that quote, the terminology at all. I, I don't. You know what I'm saying? And, and maybe that's just me. Um, and again, I'm still learning to forgive and I'm going through my own process about certain things. So maybe that's why I feel this way now. But um, you do got to bury that inner child. If something did happen, it's, it's, it's called a trigger to me, is what I'm saying. Like I was talking about earlier before. Something has to trigger uh, your depression. It, 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 you could be fine in a relationship having. Let's just talk about lesbians because this is where this is this is how I'm not trying to be funny, but it's the truth. And I'm, I've been subjected to. So this is what happened to me. 
I just thought that it was the end of the world. You know what I mean? Um, this girl broke up with me. She didn't want to cheat it. Um, I, just, I fell into a deep depression. Depression turned. I, then I, out of nowhere, I've never had anxiety. Then I start start having anxiety attacks. Mm-hmm. Um, and then different different things. And I, oh, let's go see a psychiatrist. Let's go see a therapist. I'm piggybacking on that earlier from a comment that was made about therapists. I do agree with speaking to somebody, um, but I. What I don't agree with is speaking to somebody who's never been through it. So I don't like the therapist part. I'll say that because you can't really relate if you've never been through it. The only thing that they know is, is what they read and what they are trained, you know what I'm saying, to, 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 to tell you, period. And that's I just think me. that's, and see, me, I think that that's backwards. I think everybody done been through it. They might not speak about it because everybody that had their heart broke, everybody that had their first love of their lives and Oh my God, you just thought that you couldn't move, you couldn't live without him. I would never forget mine. And that's the first one. Now I'll be looking at that bitch like, I did all that for you. Yeah. Mm-mm. Yeah. Mm-mm. So I think mean, everybody went through it. A lot of people just don't express it. But then they're supposed to listen to you. It's not about them. They're supposed to listen to you. So it's not really something that they can't make it about themselves. They'd be a horrible. Right, that's what I'm saying. They can't. So it's it's only what they're trained to to oh this is and then a lot of people want to start putting you on medication. Let's just let's just say that. That's another reason why I don't you know they want to start well let me give you this to see if you this will you know help you sleep or or Mm -hmm. make change your mood up. When you take those pills and you do that, that shit has different side effects to it. It's like other shit just starts coming out of nowhere. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, and then what? Then what you gonna do? Then you then you right back in that same depression where you don't want to get out of bed. A lot of people who suffer from depression, and I will say this, have a hard time keeping a job. You did, and I'm gonna keep it for real because for years I had a hard time keeping a job, and it was just because something could happen that was so fucked up in my relationship. I didn't want to go. I was so sad, or somebody want to go to go to work. And I'm serious. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? At one point, um, a lot of things changed when it comes to depression with me. Is when I started loving myself. That's one thing. Um, the first thing is it starts with yourself. So I'm right. glad that I still do deal uh, do deal with depression, but not um, as often. I haven't had any issues in almost six something, seven months. I haven't been in a depression state at all. I applaud you for that. You know what I'm saying? So I've been doing, I've been doing pretty good. And I just, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? <laughs> I feel you on that. But I'm going to say this, like, as far as, like, therapy goes, you got to find somebody that's your niche because I'm not going to lie. I was in therapy like a long, like a while ago. And that's because um, when I was in therapy, this is a while ago. This was like high school. I seen like, I seen like, um, I seen like two, two of my friends get like shot outside. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot going on. Like it was right in front of me in high school. And so they had me like going to a therapist and I'm like, yo, you know, you're young. I'm like, yo, I'm not about to talk to somebody I don't even know. Like, I don't know her. I don't know nothing. So I used to, like, <laughs> go to therapy and be like, you just wasting your time. Like, you getting paid. We just going to stare at each other for 45 to 45 minutes to 60 minutes. And, like, after a while, she was just, like, kind of, like, it was pointless. Yeah. And now, as I got older, like, true story, I just recently not, well, last year in May, I lost my I, I lost my mom. My mom passed away. And that that affected me something crazy. Like you know what I'm saying? Like crazy, like, right. was like um, deep depression. Anxiety, depression. Uh, I found out this is someone that took care of my mom. I took care of my mom like every single day. Like every day. And the the last the last day like she passed, I was at work. So I didn't get to, I felt so, like, so bad because I didn't get the experience of saying goodbye to my mother like like my sisters or something did because I wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? So I went to deep in depression. Like, I had anxiety, depression, like, crazy. Like, and it's hard for me. Like, I told you guys before to, like, even say anything to people. So for me to ask for help or anything like that, I was like, nah. But it got to the point where I... I was in a dark place where I was like, yeah, I can't do this no more. Yeah. So for me to reach out for a therapist, I knew 
I needed the help because usually I just, you know, I just fix it. Like I just, you know, I just do it, whatever, whatever happens, I'll deal with it, whatever. But I needed it. Getting a therapist was the hardest thing ever. With the pandemic going on, a lot of people were, you know, therapists was booked or all that stuff. So I started to give up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Because I was just like, dark place, sitting in my room. That's it. Don't want to eat. Don't want to do nothing. Um, finally, I even tried to go back to work. I couldn't go back to work. I went to work for like, probably like a day or two got triggered because everything happened there. And I was like, yo, I can't do this. So then um, I did go to the doctor for some meds because my anxiety was, when I tell you that my anxiety and my depression was, this that's the worst feeling I've ever felt in my entire life. I st- I'm still suffering from it, you know what I'm saying? But um, I'm doing better. But um, So I got a therapist finally. So then the doctor was like, nah, we're going to find you a therapist. And we got a therapist. And I can say I changed my mind about therapy, therapists. Because this therapist that I got, she didn't dig into it. She she personalized it. She told me about her life. You know what I'm saying? She told me about the stuff that she went through. Like some of the stuff. She's like, I'm going to be honest. You know what I'm saying? I was in a bad relationship. I'm, I'm divor- divorced. Now I'm happily married. Like she told me about her, her siblings. Like all that stuff. So I felt comfortable. We didn't have like, we didn't dive right into it. So we got to know each other. And she was like, listen, if you don't like me, don't be afraid to tell me that. She said, I'll help you find somebody else. Right, right, right. That, from her being that real to me, I was like, okay. And so from session to session, it got easier. And I can say that, like, like she listens. She helps. She always she always makes it a point to say that, you know what I'm saying, I'm listening to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, not, this isn't about me. Yeah. So that's what... Yeah, so it kind of changed my mind a little bit about therapy. I mean, I'm still in therapy right now. That's why I encourage it to some people, like, to get the help that you need, like, because dark places can lead, some, lead into some really dark holes, you know what I'm saying? And you don't want to do that. I don't know. Yeah, I, but, I, I hate, we got Slick. Uh, I have a friend of mine, too, that's on here. Her name is Slick. She ain't here. I don't know if y'all. Welcome. What up? I see hey, Slick. What's up? Yo, what's going but on, I didn't want to say that. <laughs> so yeah, man. Um, I and, you know I wanted to touch bases. I mean, and like I said, the experience that I had um, dealing with what I dealt with, um, and I and that was, and honestly, my depression. I never even I always had depression, and that started like I said from a ch- from some childhood trauma. Is what happened. Um, as I got older, uh, they also affected me in my decisions. So um, being with the depression part and trying to talk to a therapist, I was the same way. Uh, mm-hmm. I beat. Up. I had a grandmother of mine. I was 10 years old and I disrespected my grandmother to the fullest capacity. And um, that's the last time I seen her. And I was so mad at myself because I didn't get to apologize to her. Um, and that's, that's something that, uh, that I still battle with to today. So I have, when you made that comment, it really touched home because you're right. Like you do have to bury things. And I'm still, I still uh, battle with that. And just because I didn't get to tell, I don't forgive myself. So that puts me in a whole depression mode. Like uh, October, I'm depressed. The whole October, that's my grandmother's birthday, just depressed. So that's something that I am. Is there any anything that you that you've done or that you can help me or any coping mechanisms that you that you've um, done? And because I, you know, and I'm just keeping it above. I still I still suffer from that. No, I still I believe me. I I get it. Like, you know, what I'm saying the the toughest, the greatest thing that my therapist tells me is that. It's okay. It's okay to have those feelings. It's okay if you need to cry. It's okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, I, I, listen, I haven't cried in so long, you know what I'm saying? But with my mom passing, like, I cried, like, I couldn't control it because I was so busy controlling my feelings before that and, and controlling my feelings that I, you know, so that's what I was used to. Yeah. But with my mom, couldn't hold it. And I just cried and cried and cried and cried and cried and cried. And I was telling her, like, yo, I, I, like, I can't control it. And she's like, you're not supposed to control it. It's okay. Yeah. Let it out. It doesn't matter. Your days are, it's not easy. It's not going to go away. You're not going to be like, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever like that. It's always, your feelings are always going to be there. And if you need to cry, then let it be. Yeah. Let it be. Because, and it's not your fault. And don't fault yourself because you know I, I I I'm not gonna lie I faulted myself like you know what I'm saying but you know my 
siblings and my dad. They told me, um, and my cousins and all, and uh, Spade too, tell me, you know, how how good of a job I do with my my mom, you know, because this man, it was tough. It was a tough road for me. But I tried, you know, what I'm saying, and I I felt that guilt, like I didn't do do enough. Mm-hmm. And if- you know what I'm saying, that, that guilt. And uh, so my third, that's what I'm working through, that guilt with my therapist, because I felt that guilt for a long, like, for a while. For a while, like. But my dad and my siblings, they, like, all my, like, you did, you did a really great job. Like, you did so good with your mom, you know, but, you know, that guilt was eating me up so bad. So, so bad, like, but you got to find something, whether it's, uh... I don't know, something you like to do. Music is my thing. I love music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Me too. Uh, talking to somebody is a good thing too, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, communicating with somebody. I'm a big communicator, so I'm big on that part. When that start? Uh, stop playing with me. I'm a big communicator. I be, come on, yo. You know I be t- stop playing with me. I, I talk more to you. Nah, no, nah, you talk more than me, but when it comes to other stuff, like the yeah. seriousness and stuff, I be talking to you. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, do. That's what I thought, yeah. But, um, I don't know, yo, we just gotta, in, in this community that we have, I think that we just all need to come together. Like, I don't have a lot of, like, quote unquote stud friends or like that because I feel like they feel like they're in competition. I'm not in competition with anybody, and that's just a fact. I'm not in That's so sad, though, because I'd be like, it I'd be sad. up, bro. Like, it's sad. It is sad, but I think as a community, like, I would love to have some, like, you know, people to talk to, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I talked about why I got spayed, but I'm just saying, like, just a group of people, because I feel like if we as a group of, like, people can talk, they have a safe space, yep. I think that would be a great, you know what I'm saying, a great thing. If I may chime yeah. in... Yes. Well, my condolences to everybody, Shay and Jewels, if I'm saying that right. But um, I do, like I told Spade earlier, remember I told you grief leads to depression, anxiety, and things like that. Mm -hmm. And I myself deal with grief. And I do, just like now, I still can't speak on it because it brings up that emotion. But like mm. Shay said, instead of you, you have to bury it, don't bury it, accept it. Because, I mean, you can't help what happens. You know what I'm saying? Like, the drills, yes. it might have been your mom's spirit that didn't want you there to see that at that time. You know what I'm saying? She knows everything that you have done for her. She appreciated it and, you know, adored you for that. But she probably didn't want you to see that happening at that time and that's how i look at what happened to me you know we did everything we could but regardless of what we could have did thinking that it still wouldn't change anything my heart hurts yeah. every time i speak on it because it's a sensitive subject but day by day day by day and i have stayed i do have you know people that i i speak about it because i have to empty it Sometimes I just being here, I cry, I can blue, just because I seen a picture or you know an old text or somebody said something that they used to say. It, it that's what the trigger is. But I yeah. accept what happened yeah. and know that I can change anything. And yes. I just right now, um, that's why I started making the candles and things. Try to get you know, just do other things. Just you sit and think about it. And just uh, criticize yourself, asking yourself, "What could I have done? You know, what could have changed? You know, just don't don't bother your spirit with that stuff. Just know what it was and how you're gonna get through it. And just you know, you still have to live because that's what they would want you to do. Yes, don't burn right. and, and then accept and, it. But getting it out, yeah. Know, and it's a human, and you're human. Yeah. And you're human. I mean, I obviously a lot of things are a part of life, and I look at things a lot of different, a lot different. 
differently. Like we have a birthday, then we have a dash. It's, nobody knows yeah. the end date. But what you do with that dash, what you take on from everybody, these pits, bits and pieces of the loner time that God gave everybody in your life, I try to not hold grudges. And that's one hard thing for me mm -hmm. to do because me, I will cut it <laughs> off and be done. Like, I don't have to talk to you no more. And it, it'd be a wrap. Uh, but I do realize, too, that we're human. Yeah. And you never know what other people are carrying along, too. Sometimes you got to sort of kind of mm -hmm. wheel it out, even if you're just sitting there just listening. Yeah. Not saying nothing, just let them vent, do whatever. Just sitting there like. Oh, wow. that's, that's it. That's the key right there. Sometimes people just want you to listen. Mm -hmm. Not even just talk, not even just talk back. They just want to vent. You know what I'm saying? Just mm -hmm. listen and get all that off their chest. There's so many things that. Um, that's why I say, like, as a community, like I, I feel like we're so divided at times. It's crazy, and um, it's tough. Like I just want people to move. And that's why people are embarrassed to say they have issues and, and stuff like that. And like you said, it's like you smile and I act like things are all good. And it's not because people are afraid. And in this community, I'd be afraid too because you don't know who you can trust. Yes. And that's another thing. And that's a that's a big thing is you do not know who you can trust. And and, and that's another reason why people don't like to talk. And that's and I I I used to run my damn house, and that was a problem because I could, I thought I could trust everybody. You see what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. You just and so that goes back to who you can, who you can and can't trust, or who should I talk to? And you know, I talk to God now. It's who the I best talk person. to. So, um, and that, and I just um, that's 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 how I've been getting through my days, and I'm serious, like, and He has been so good to me. So, yeah. you know, I just keep it, just keep it going. That's why that's who I talk to. <laughs> so that's my best that's friend. That's the best at this person point. to talk to because most people <laughs> you know? talk to them, and they turn it out to be about them you know you you tell yeah. them hey you know i just lost her something oh girl I, I lost my cousin you know what i'm saying like bruh mm -hmm. we, we talking about me right now you're supposed to be that friend to listen but you about to make this about you and that's what's wrong with this generation because it's about them what they can get and what they can do and what they can tell you know what i'm saying like, but with us, with the age range, I don't know the age range of the other two, but I know we of age to speak. Like, I speak to Vic, and that'll be it. If I want some feedback, she'll give that to me, but she won't turn the subject around to be about her and lose sight of what we were talking about, you know? Right. Yeah, I try to I try to be more of a good listener now. I I think the older that I have, I have grown, I take different pieces and parts of, parts of everybody in my life. You know what I'm saying? That's that's how we have grandparents and parents and friends and stuff. We take the portions of them because we are them. It, it's in our it's in our essence. It's in our DNA. So everything that we learned that's embedded in us. It still go on. It's still in your veins every day. So you just have to take that along with it. Learning how to be that was the biggest thing for me. Learning how to be a listener. You know what I'm saying? And then I pray to ask to respond with love. Uh -huh. So if I'm quiet, yeah. I want to make sure that I have help with whatever I'm saying. Because really, I'm not a good speaker. I can crack jokes with you every day. When it comes to some real so heartfelt stuff, I pray about it before I respond. I really do. Because I sit up in this house and I be like, Lord, I thank you for everything. <laughs> I ain't playing. I ain't playing. That's, that's my prayer every day. I thank you for the good, the bad, everything. Yeah. Just that simple. You know, we just got to take it. A lot of things we just got to take day by day. And um, we got to live, yo. Like, in, you know. That's where I'm getting to the point of living, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've dedicated, and believe me, I wouldn't take it back the last four, probably like four plus years with my mom, you know what I'm saying? And uh, that's all I've done, take care of my mom and go to work. That's it. That was my life, you know what I'm saying? And so, talking to my therapist, 
I was so depressed. I didn't want to do anything. She's like, you got to do something for yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, what have you done for yourself lately? And I'm like, <laughs> I don't remember right. last time I did anything for myself. You know what I mean? Like, like this. And so... Right, that's like when I used to tell you, I'd be like, come on, Jules, let's travel. Let's go do yeah, this. I was just no, I got to stay here. I got to stay. I got to stay here. I got to stay here. I used to, I used to stop. I used to uh, flake on people a lot of the times and say I was doing stuff and, and yeah, I'm about to go here and I couldn't even get out of bed to go. It's not that I want to. I just couldn't get up. But I, I didn't want them to know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they were like, damn, you always flake. And I'm like, nigga, because like, again, I, nobody knew. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I'll be sitting right up in the house, uh, seriously, with a blunt in my hand. I ain't going to hold you. I know I'm smoking. Everybody knows I'm smoking. <laughs> you said I ain't going to hold you. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just, you know, and, and that was just, that was my, that was my every day. It was, it, it was like, I came accustomed to that. <laughs> I don't care who was around, relationship or not. That's just what I was doing. You know what I mean? Um, and yeah, I, I, as I got, I mean, once I got out of certain things, and I, I, then it, it got a lot better for me. Like I said, I'm, I'm seven, what, well, six, seven months now. I haven't had any depression issues. I've been good, good spirits, prayer. Yes. That's been, like I said. Okay, um, it works. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm you trying to say. I don't know about y'all, but I, give, I, I get up in and I play some gospel music up in my house at least once, uh, once a week, once or twice a week. It's always. It always just brings, it brings you back. I don't know. It's just something about that that music. It just you know it do something to you. And then if you listen to Kurt Franklin and stuff like that in the gym, but you see, if if yeah, I, I, have you ever listened to gospel music in the gym, <laughs> listen to gospel music in the gym. Man, for real, nice. I don't know how to. Yeah, listen to know. gospel music in the gym. No, she ain't going to. Ain't gonna work out. It. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. You know, I have you. I have you, I have you know that uh, <laughs> she might be. She might be living, lifting do, legs, thighs, and patty pies. Jim, the gym is right. <laughs> nah, Jim is right. Do you go though? Nah, man, you know I'm going to gym, go. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> oh, that's a lie. Oh no, she know me. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but I'm about to start back. Slick, you want to chime in? You've been quiet over there. I'm just oh, no, I'm really really listening, from... you know. I'm, I'm a, you know, I'm shy. I mean, I'm, I'm all, I've always been shy. But, yeah. He's always been shy. <laughs> I've always oh, been shy. Guess what? You don't even... Yeah, you don't man. even have to be good. Guess what? You just a, yeah, a letter that's right true. now. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys are just listening to you guys talk and everything. It, it's, it makes me feel like I'm not alone, you know. Like, I've been, I've been feeling and like you're not, for a long time, you know, just. You're not alone, yo, for real. Like, for real, like, that's why I try to tell people, like, you're not alone, like, there's so many, like I said, that's why we got to reach out to people and be, be good to people and, you know, just kind of just ask them how they're doing, you know what I'm saying, like that. And I do that often, I even, like, for some reason. I can be at the grocery store, you know, you make eye contact with somebody and you just say, right. how you doing? Like in the line. And sometimes, I t tell no lie, they just start venting. Yeah. yeah, I get that a lot. Random people. Yeah. They just start venting. And I listen because mm -hmm. they needed it. They just wanted somebody to ask them right. how they were doing. And that's the thing, and, like, for right. me, I can listen to people all day, but, I mean... I can't talk to nobody. I mean, hey, I can talk to my wife, but I need somebody besides my wife to talk to, you know? Um, and certain things, you you know, I can't say to my wife, you know, because it's not that I'm ashamed or anything. It's just that I like to protect feelings a lot, you know? And it's sometimes it could just be about her or, you know, how I feel about certain things, this and the third, and I'm just not ready to express how I feel. You know, so but yeah. talking, you yeah. know, talking to people, just random people outside in the store or whatever, it's just it's easier for me to do that than to just talk to people that's actually close because I don't like to be judged. I there's a a big thing in my past that I talk and then I get judged by it. Like just like um, Shay with us was saying, like. You can't trust people for real. 
and you, you want to, you know, express how you yeah. feel, then next thing you know, motherfuckers, you know, they talking about you, you know, and it's like, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm trying to talk to you, you know, have a heart to heart conversation. And I get all, I hear all of my bins is out on the street. That's not, that's not something I, I like, I accept, you know, so it's, right. it's just, I'm trying to get to a point in my life where I'm just able to be able to communicate a little more, a little better, you know, trying to find people I can actually talk to and just be, you know, be able to talk to and not be afraid. Well, listen, understand that uh, I'm here. You, know, you don't know me, but I'm here. Like, you're not alone. Me too. I'm here. Yeah. I'm here. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Me, like, I'm here. Like, you ever, anybody on this on this floor right now that you're not alone, like, if you need to talk or vent, I'm here. Like, mm -hmm. I can just listen. Like, no. Nope. All right. I now throw my number in the chat. Um, Everybody got a chat bar. So even if you don't want to talk or you have a question, you can always post it in the chat. But what I do is I make sure I throw my number to you. I mean, hey, I, I listen. I listen. If you, yeah. need a, you need a listening ear, but I can tell you that's something that I've grown, that been ready to be 43 years on this planet is some people like to listen to your problems to run yes. into mm -hmm. things. So you have to find people that's outside mm -hmm. of your box. Um, outside of everybody in your immediate circle might not right. be for yep. you. You know what I'm saying? So you get somebody that's unbiased don't mm -hmm. know you from, from whatever but you also have to be receptive from hearing that particular type of you say commentary mm -hmm. the judgment it's not necessarily judgment because sometimes we have to come face to face exactly. in the mirror and look at ourselves and be like well damn damn v you could have been more nicer when talking to your mom or you could have been nicer talking to your brother you could have been nicer in saying something else or or you didn't say enough mm -hmm. oh you know what i'm saying so you have to be open for for uh um, back and yeah. forth yeah you have and to be open for I'm it. and i'm here too that's another thing i'm working on is accepting the truth that's it like Ex express yeah. how I feel and be willing to accept, yeah. you know, the feedback that's gonna come to me, you know. I'm gonna tell you what, the truth will humble the Man, humble. Yes, it's too pretty. <laughs> but it will humble you real quick. It will. And that and it, 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 like yeah, well, because I when I tell you I <laughs> and that's funny that you said that because I mean I'm I'm never the same way. I just I just want to say so much. And I was really the reason why I didn't say it is because I was more so worried about that person's feelings than my own. That's really why. <laughs> I never really spoke up on certain things or even talked to people because I'm like, man, I don't want to hurt this person's feelings, but then again, I'm like, what if I say this and what they gonna say? If I hurt, they feel like what they're going to say. I'm so worried about what they're going to say or how they feel uh, rather than setting myself yep. free. So it's okay to um, it's okay to voice it, to, to talk about it. And I would talk to somebody else first. Like, uh, who was saying that? I think you were saying this back uh, earlier. Talk to somebody first and then, you know, then you can go back to the to the source and then you know how to deliver. So, you yeah, know, you whatever. Go to God. Make sure. Uh, Pray about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My grandmother was one of my first, favorites. Praise first, and then she go, you know, I don't know. So, you know, and I'll say this. Slick has always had a sweet, a sweet uh, soul. She's always been a sweet person. I'm dead serious. I have nothing. I've never had nothing bad to say about this young lady at all. <laughs> it's just nothing bad to say about her. So, you know, and uh, so I know you're a sweetheart, and it's all right because everybody here, should I go through it? You probably didn't even know. Right. But I'm telling you, that. Know. I, I, you know, um, you never know what people suffer from, and my door my phone is always it ain't always turned up but you know uh you can text, you can text me i get that <laughs> you get it eventually i get it and um you know and i'm here so yeah. we all right, you know, we got it because you know some got. people just be just be waiting for your phone oh, oh, wait till you <laughs> tell something negative I had a I had a dude beginning of January wanted me to get involved with some uh, Roku Roku um, television situation, and something in my spirit told me no. I told him no. I was all kinds of bitches tricks. I said that. How you feel? Mm -hmm. Then why are you here? Wow. Then why? <laughs> when you can't benefit like that them, that's when they they their true self. But true um, self. then I've been well, y'all for a long time and would never known that y'all was you know going through what you're going through. And Shay, I know you've been in the limelight ever since I've known you since you were about 14, 15 years old. 
So I know everybody Man. wants you to, you know, to do something so they can run and tell it. Because you use the hottest yep. thing, you know what I'm saying? And that's what is going on with these they generations. They, they, they love to tell <laughs> something negative instead of something hey, positive. Yeah. Right, it's still something positive. Absolutely. There you go. Yeah. yeah that's, that's just like on Facebook. You, if you don't put some crazy or about some drama, nobody nope. be on your live. But as soon as you say something, they be like, oh, be everybody tune in. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You put some fighting and stuff on there. That's why I believe social media is so horrible. It's good and horrible, but yeah. more bad for our yeah. people. Because it's so it's weird. It's like lately I'm so tired of seeing the males go rampant on these women. I have seen some of the craziest posts the last couple of days. The guy with the whole eighteen wheeler truck ran to the lady what? house. No the little boy. The oh. little boy. Oh yeah, the little boy oh, yeah. who killed like uh, he was sixteen. Killed what the little girl was fourteen. Oh, the that was out here. In, that was out here in Dallas. What? The girl, the girl was uh, the girl shot. The girl was fourteen, mm. and she shot him. I think, or she was sixteen, whatever. Yeah, she shot him. Though. That was uh, that was like twenty minutes from here. Which oh, that I thought they, I thought the post said that that, that that she had broke up with him. It was about uh, see, okay. Well, I mean, you know, you live out there. I'm just saying. Yeah, man. I, listen, I, let me tell you something. I stay right in my area. I don't go outside of this because I don't. The energy, I don't, be, I don't uh-huh. have, I can't. <laughs> I told you Texas is a family friendly state. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Because it's I, a lot of things transpired. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I'm i nowhere near First 48. That's all the way on, that's all the way <laughs> down there somewhere. I'm on the north side. You already know. I'm not fucking with Texas. I'm not, I'm not fucking with Texas. Yeah, Atlanta getting like that too. Atlanta. 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 Well, Atlanta huh? getting bad. Everywhere is getting bad because of what's the these kids and what's going on now everybody wants to be tiktok famous um see what some man can do for them or some chick can do for them they they out for self now back then everybody knew it was family oriented we help each other but now it's, it's self you know what i'm saying what what can i do to get uh you know this from him or get some bills paid some money section eight all this like you don't want to work because you want to pay three dollars for rent you don't want to better yourself for the six <laughs> kids that you got running around this mug you know what i'm saying i blame i blame the music i blame the music tv and all that for what's going on i'm dead serious because that's what what do you, everybody's in their ipads everybody in their phone kids that's all they do right now you too if I real talk if y'all get a chance go on netflix or your fire six and look up social dilemma I'm and right I tell now. you, it breaks down social media. It's it's going to make you not really want to be on social media. Like it's it's that in depth. Wait it's that in depth. Like the, it's called social social dilemma, where they actually make AI versions of everybody online. And when they say if you are not buying a product, you are the mm-hmm. product. I did a post maybe about a couple months ago, and I said that. I posted that on my page. I just said, if you're not buying a product, you are the product. <laughs> so meaning, we are the product when we come to Facebook. Have you ever realized, like, a lot of times you be talking about something and yeah. next thing it yep. up on your cell phone? We give, we, we, give them, we give them free right to audio and visual, yeah. video, it, to, to you. They're, with, they're in the house with all of our rings, with all of our uh, Lexus mm-hmm. and everybody else. We pay them to track us and monitor us. And what they do is build. Remember, on, the, on when you watch Social Dilemma, it's going to show you how, even like what we're talking about, stress, depression, and anxiety, how I kids know. will get mad because they don't look like the filter mm-hmm. outside of the filter. They may get 10 likes that leather dislike and going in on them talking about oh your ears is bigger than that they fall into the depression. <laughs> yeah for real like it's, it's wild. you can't have me watching no shit like that you know you what they say <laughs> Watch. he said they had a girl and she posted the picture and and it was like she was like yeah she had posted she was ready for the picture and 10 10 likes everybody all oh, cute cute blah, blah, blah. the 11th one was like well you need to make your ears more realistic because your ears are not that little your ears. and she went into a state of depression 
Really? But how ads pick up on your algorithms is when you start posting negative stuff or certain yep. ads, certain sayings or Great certain so stuff, up. they start mm -hmm. sending you come to this this clinic, come to that clinic, come to this, do this. Remember, mm, start looking on these females' phone and be like, what the clinic? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not talking about like that. I'm talking about like, okay, I'm like, you know, what? like, like when people have yeah. when some people like they suffer from like social yeah. media they oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. like when they not getting enough likes and they they think that they not cool and not in in crowd you know what mm. i'm saying but even with that like you said that leads to depression with not even just kids it's adults too adults, oh, yeah. adults yeah. more than likely need all the attention they can on come on look at all these ig models or these all these people that are doing X, Y, and Z, these influencers, some of the influencers that are doing things just to do it so they yep. can go viral. They don't get, if they don't get likes or whatever like that, some of them go in depression. People, women, changing their bodies. You know what I'm saying? They're dying. Speaking of what, do you know how much money that girl who did that period I period of make? It's like $40 million off of that bitch. That, oh, God. It makes me so Man. sick. Man, I'm sick too. We need to come up with something, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I God. told Jules. I waited on Jules. I told we you. Got meet, we got to meet, man. She's fire. We got to. Spy, you, know, you, know, you, know, you know it's you. Come Jules, on, man. We got it. <laughs> what up? What up? What up? We got to go viral. You know what I'm saying? Viral. I promise I don't. I'd rather be in the background. Just send me the check. I'm good on everything. <laughs> That's it. I, you ain't never got to know my name. Mm -mm. Hey. A lot of social media, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like again, like I said, it's influenced with a lot of the, um, that's where you get a lot of depression from. A lot of. Uh-oh, somebody went out. That part was you. But yeah, social uh, media is a is a, oh, a mess. Welcome though. back. Wait a minute. My fault. It sounded like she had that rose, and it sounded like the phone did it. Nah, no. Nobody <laughs> <laughs> was. It sounded like the phone. Mine don't sound Nobody like that. <laughs> Mine don't sound like. <laughs> Man, I'm Sleep scared. Of yours sound I'm like that. that. I don't even want one. I'm scared of that. Oh, I'm, scared. Uh, I'm scared of the rose. I don't want it. I don't want it. That's it. Stick to your nose. No. Jules, you need to put your, <laughs> Jules, you need to put your rose up. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> you need to put your rose up. Uh -uh. Okay. That's what I thought my phone was over here. I was like, ooh, ooh who phone is <laughs> Right. But yeah, man. Right. Not on the serious though, I'm telling you that that social media. When y'all watch Social Dilemma, they break down because they got some heads from everywhere, from Google, from everywhere, um, YouTube to where they actually. You know how they end up turning turning the entire election for Trump. Mm -hmm. They actually programmed to shoot yeah. to the masses, shoot to the masses, like different areas. Wherever their numbers were slow, they yeah. shoot to the masses. And bring it up. And then they start talking about, um, oh, what is it called? It, uh, and look at trying to ruin the movie. I'm going to watch it. I got it, I got it right here. Wait, what, no, that, that movie, that movie long, but you'll like it though, because you're going to uh -huh. be like, wait a minute, what? He said, what? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check that out once we uh, get up off of here. Yeah, they make money for us. If you want to, you know how, how they use their algorithms when they want you to buy something? Mm -hmm. You know, like during the election, it was funny that you couldn't post nothing about Trump, nothing negative about Trump online. Right. You post about Obama negatively all day, Biden all day, Trump. Mm -hmm. Wipe it on out. All that was paid. You're right. Politics. It'd be on there. For, it'd be on there for a hot second. It's over. You can't find it. You're right. Paid <laughs> politics. I had my page was flagged for something that was posted over four years ago. But it's basically. They, they, they give you what they want you to see, basically. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, Facebook, first of all, they do what they want to do. I'm sick they of program, it. They program it. <laughs> I'm sick they of it. They program it. We sit up there and log on, and we'll log on before we brush our teeth. 
that's how serious their social media is. They talk about how they they monitor when you pick up your phone. Do you y'all have um like a watch, like a, a what you call the watch, like a, a Galaxy Apple watch, watch or Apple Watch? You notice how once your your body's at rest for a certain hour, amount of hours, and it say you've been sleep for six hours and thirty minutes, mm-hmm. try to work on more sleep. That. It it that. tracks it tracks it tracks you. These phones, the watches, yeah, it has the biometric you. in it. So okay, well, I want my watch telling me I gotta be in bed at ten thirty at night. I do that. I didn't know. <laughs> it knows. It knows that's probably the time you usually go. <laughs> No, like, it's not. That's what I'm it saying. track. It track when you set your phone down. How long you set your phone down? And it's saying, well, you haven't been on such and such. Man, so, when you watch this, when you watch this, and you're gonna see how they push through ads and text through your cell phone when you haven't been on the site long for long. Man, okay, I'm gonna watch it now. now I'm gonna hype it's up gonna shit. spook you a little bit. <laughs> nah, you know, <laughs> well, I know I watch it. I, it might take me a minute to be there, but I'll be there. I'll be there, spray. I know I'm going. Well, you you watch it. Uh uh-uh, uh, you go watch. You go watch. It's gonna freak you out though. Hey, yeah, James, welcome watch. back in the room. Yeah, appreciate it. That hot line going up. Yeah, you hot drive hot all the way. Nah, you had, nah. you had to get that rose of attention. I get it. Nah, yeah. not for real. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Oh, right yeah. On. But definitely, I don't know if any everybody know how to use the chat in here. Um, the chat is, is nothing in the chat stays. It's permanent. It's not permanent. So whatever you put in there, once we get through recording it automatically, just like a cloud. Let me put my number in there for, for, for y'all. It just it just goes away. It just goes away. I'm going to tell y'all now. I'm going to call me early in the morning. calling you. Call me between the <laughs> I'm just, I'm just joking. You can call me anytime. It don't even matter. Not, you ain't got to worry about me calling early in the morning. Oh, yeah, I know you ain't going to call me early in the morning. Jews will be up that early. It, always up the early. only ones that be up with Jews is, is Jews, Jesus, and Mexicans. That's it. That's right. Hey. Over there, over there no. eating her air sandwiches. Like ketchup Where or hot sauce? <laughs> <laughs> Both. <laughs> I put that shit on everything. Hot sauce, you damn right. Shoot. Nah, you damn right hot sauce. That's how I'm They eat it. everything. I, I, that's why I was always mad. At. I you do. Know, you stay slim and you can eat up a whole turkey dinner. Yeah, hey, yeah, you know it. I still do, girl. Still do. Still eat. It's still. okay, Joe, with you later on. Don't say that. You okay. good so far. Don't say that. I look, watch this. How old are you now? If you don't feel like saying it, you can put it in the check. For me? Mm-hmm. 40. I'm a good oh, no, 40. I'm a good 40. Because it would have caught okay, up by now. Because my son hit about 31. We're talking hey, about these two more years. These two yeah. more years. Man, I'm going to I'm start going to I'm going to start going to the gym. I'm going to start going to the gym. I'm gonna start going to the gym. Let me tell you something. I started taking the bulk up, bulk up, and boy, 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 boy. Now I need no, to get up. Always a slim gym it's the getting gym. up. It's the problem. Not no more, honey. Not no more. I had a six pack. Nah, I got a junior I took all the weight now. for y'all. I got the weight on me now. <laughs> I, look, Man, Jules I remember over that. Jules <laughs> like Cali now too. She slim, trim like a bicycle. Man, ring. I remember some picture with me and uh, that took with uh, with me a long time ago. <laughs> I ain't lying. I think my thing was at the club. Was at the Marquette back then, girl. I think I, I was laying on just just resting, just just resting on the titties. Well, I, I think I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even get tracks, tracks and Lana. <laughs> I was that was the safest spot, y'all. I swear to God, everybody just everything was so confused. What them titties was? What them titties was? I was like, oh. <laughs> she always she always been titties. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh my God, you're such a good friend. <laughs> <laughs> what you say, you're such a good friend? We used to be up in that neighborhood. Oh, yeah, we're in heaven, Shantae. Shantae, we passed. Man, I already. I already. I already. Yep. Yeah, she always had yep. big titty bowls. They still here. <laughs> you know, these are the pillows of the South. 
Yeah, it go all the way. How, it, it, how your mom do? Uh, we talk about this after this. this. <laughs> <laughs> see, look, y'all, my bedtime is at 10. Look at this shit. Well, you need to follow. Can y'all see that? What it say? It says bedtime reminder. Your bedtime is set for 10 30. Who told me to go to bed at 10 30? Apple. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you watch Social Dilemma. You better go to bed before good. your phone starts glitching. What day? I need to go to bed because I gotta get. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's gonna be. Her phone's mm-hmm. gonna sound like Jules, huh? They're gonna shut yeah. down. It's gonna be freezing and shit. Tell her, you told you to go to bed. <laughs> it's, mm-hmm. gonna, it's gonna power down. Not do the down, though. But I, I do, do appreciate do. this conversation. Oh, I... Um, I did good. I did not shed a tear, but I was shaky, but I appreciate y'all. Um, make sure um, Slick and Joe oh, yeah. to copy the numbers down and send a text. I got to um, I gotta get it from somebody else because I got booted out, so I didn't get the... Uh, get the Look text. at the chat. It somebody. should be in the chat. Slick, Slick I had text. No, 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 but... No, oh, okay. But let's let me... Yeah, I'll get it from Spade because okay. all the all the all so, the numbers. So yes, well, we, if you text me, okay. Jules, you have my number. <laughs> <laughs> I try, I try to make sure because your phone just like it just that's it. Apple. Well, just a reminder. This is a good talk, and it's good to have you guys like around and understand that you know that we all can be there for each other, and um, yeah. you know, and there's. You know, reach out. Like, seriously. And then one day we could, one day we could take a group trip. Jules got a birthday coming up in April. Y'all, we could plan a trip. Y'all should come down here. Fly up, up there to Boston. Well, I'm not coming to Atlanta because I'm sick of it. From the Boston. Boston. April 22nd. Oh, Mine's I'm, April 25th. April 22nd. So is it trip? Uh, okay. What a day off. Wait, what y'all know? Tars, right. Oh, Tars, 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 uh, I'm gonna tell you something. Real shit, Red. Check this out. If you seen Jules' mom, my mom, me, and Jules together, you would think it's vice versa. We used to act up. Me and her mom used to act up. And her, her, my mom would be like, <laughs> Your camera froze up. <laughs> well, everybody, it's just my little red ass in here. No, y'all just left me. Camera froze. Yeah. Yeah. My camera froze? Yeah, I can't see. Yeah, we can't see you. It's just black. Oh, really? I, I see me. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Slick, did you get my text? Message? I ain't. Yeah, I texted you. Oh, yeah, I texted you. Yeah, yeah, I texted you. Yeah, I texted you. Yeah, I texted you. Yeah, I got it. Mhm. Okay. All right. That's no, nah, but I'm gonna leave it on some positive note. So we, I know people gotta go to work and go to bed and all that stuff. But like, understand that you guys are wanted. You're needed. And this goes out to everybody out there that's listening to the podcast. You're wanted. You're needed. You're loved. You're cared for. Like, reach out. Seriously, reach out to. Somebody. Yeah. And just shoot a text like, hey, do you have time, you know, to, you know what I'm saying, talk. You don't have to make small talk, just call and, you know, get what's off your heart, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And me, personally, I'm just going to listen because I don't have time to be crying, yes. but I'm an empress, so I feel what you're feeling at the moment. And in person, I can sense what's going on and you don't have to say anything. So, oh, now you are froze, little ugly. Mm-hmm. I see you. But um, just, you know, send a text like, hey, Dad, this is, you know, whoever. Um, just want to know if you could talk. And while I, nine times out of ten, I can't because I don't be doing shit, as Vic say. I, I be here. I'm still trying to make my way to Atlanta because um, I went missing. 
I went in my ass. And yeah, I get it. Yeah, that's how I yeah, But I'm hearing, you know how I sound. Um, I, I might go months without talking, but that's my sister. And she understands what's what, but we'll never be, you know, uh, distant to where we don't never talk. Like, Shay, when was the last time I talked to you? But right, we yeah, like, okay. it's been day one, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. So, yeah. Man, like, we ain't never left. Like, I ain't so, <laughs> like, I'm here for yeah, anybody. Right. Um, yeah. You know, and if I need to just cry, you know, I, I'll reach out. But Vic, I already know it'll be with her because that nigga gonna make me laugh and I'm gonna forget I'm crying and, you know, it is what it is. But. Mm hmm. All I got to do is say, what tooth the cake? I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> so if I say that, as soon as I say that, that's all. But you yeah, the same thing with me. If <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And it's the same thing with me, everybody out there. If anybody need to reach out to me, they can. Or um, they have um, in the United States, if you don't feel comfortable, you can always reach out to 1-800-273-TALK. Um, 1-800-273-8255-TALK. <laughs> For real. Um, did you say thoughts... toilet? Wait a minute. Huh? Talk. What did you say? Toilet? No, talk. That no, I'm talk. Yep. Because yeah, this people just learn how to not let your thoughts make you sick. You know what I'm saying? Try to replace mm -hmm. replace your anxiety with purpose. Find you something to get into, gym. Just go talk to your loved ones because you'll be amazed how many other people want somebody yeah. else to talk to as well. You yeah. know what I'm saying? To try to make out a pat with them. You know, anytime you feel this kind of way, call me and just tell me, yeah. come up with a cold like word. A we need it. We need it. Yeah. We need a one on one. Even if it's just sitting down, taking, drinking a beginning, just listen. We're I'm ready. ready. Yeah. And um, once again, I'm your host here. Vic Spade, you can reach me everywhere, all social media platforms, Vic Spade. You can Google me, Vic Spade. We got my co-host tonight, Kelly. Again. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> Red, yeah. Slick, newbie, newbie. <laughs> she just has new booty on duty. <laughs> <laughs> and we got Jews over there with the rose. Yes, uh <laughs> Yeah. yeah All right. I appreciate. I appreciate y'all. I'm getting ready to go close the show. Y'all have a good night. Hey man, I love everybody, man. Love. Uh, love I you love too, man. Appreciate you. All right. I'm, I'm All right. No worries. You already know. Okay.